Can you guys like, act like you're enjoying a, a current discussion without the cameras rolling? I, I don't. <laughs> you don't do that? I can't function when the cameras aren't rolling. <laughs> So Eugene, I wanted to ask you, what do you say to artists who don't have a permanent geographic place to feel rooted? I guess what I think, what I would like to convey through my writings mostly and, then, and through relationships is that creation is a huge thing, that our faith has to reflect the basicness of creation to what we're doing. The minute you leave, you leave the place, uh, the contingency of place, mm. uh, you lose you lose the story. Mm. You're thinking about mystical things or you know, dogmatic things or religious things. But if this is where it all happens. Mm. And I think we've been pretty deliberate about making sure that we're staying in touch with the things, with the stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, with the rocks and mm -hmm. the birds and whatever. Yeah. But that comes, that doesn't come just at the end of your life. You know, right. you have to start pretty early. Right. Well, what would you say to young artists who find themselves feeling displaced from church? and congregations who feel that they're on the margins, they're struggling with doubt, they're angry for whatever reason, confused, they're barely holding on to their faith, there's no point in holding on to being a part of a community. What would you say to those young artists? I think I'd say, make friends with the people where you are. Hmm. Forget about the music. Uh, Forget about this sermon. Make friends. There are people there who are good people. Maybe they're saints. Who knows? But start what you are. And if it doesn't work, you know, find someplace else. Mm -hmm. Become a Roman Catholic. Become a Greek Orthodox. I don't have any problem with people to do that. Yeah. A lot of my friends have done it and tried to get me to do it. <laughs> A group of pastors, they're actually willing and interested to learn more about the arts. They're not artistic. Where do they begin? Find a museum, go to it, um, do it a couple of times a month at least. Find out what those people were doing last year, five years ago, 20 years ago. Hmm. Get some books, find out what artists do. Hmm. Uh, get a camera take pictures of the wildflowers and learn their names mm. and study what makes them tick. Um, you know, we're immersed in a world of art. Mm -hmm. It isn't just what artists do. Sure. So start where you are, mm -hmm. but, you know, find out some people that you respect. You know, I, I think I got more help over a two-year period from Impressionist painters in France than I did through any theology books. Mm. And I'd go to the museum, of Baltimore Museum, and just spend two or three hours at a time there looking at their, their paintings and what they were doing. It was not easy life for them. You know, where, where did they go for their help? Yeah. Be an artist yourself. Not, I don't mean draw pictures. Right. Find ways to cultivate your attention, attention, attention yeah, right. to what's right there, this lake, those trees. Three last one-sentence answers. What's one word of encouragement that you would give to young artists? Don't give up. What's one word of encouragement you would give to older artists? Stick with it. What's one word of encouragement you would give to worship leaders? Learn how to worship. Quit trying to follow the fads. That's it. I mean, there's more, right? But let's end on that one. Thank you guys. Thank you. That was great, Eugene.